Hey everybody, how are you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video, I want to talk about the Vancouver Canucks potentially, maybe, possibly, probably not getting Alexei Lafreniere. Recently, Lafreniere has actually been scratched. And when I say recently, I mean today, at the time I'm recording this video. So yesterday, at the time you guys watched this video, he's been scratched out of the New York Rangers lineup. And that's got a lot of people speculating on the future of Lafreniere in New York. A lot of people are saying that this kind of opens the gates to a potential trade, seeing as how this shows that Gallant, the head coach of the New York Rangers, does not see a fit for Alexei Lafreniere in their lineup, which again, like I mentioned, seems like it's opening the floodgates for people to potentially want to trade for Lafreniere. Now the door is open, which leads me to think of some teams that could possibly land Lafreniere, teams that I think Lafreniere would play good on. And I mainly want to talk about here today is my team, the Vancouver Canucks, on if there could be a trade possible to land Alexei Lafreniere. There really is only one deal that I could see between the Canucks and the New York Rangers to get this done. And there's really obviously two big pieces that would be involved in it. And I will talk about that in a few minutes. But pretty much I'm wondering as why the New York Rangers are not playing Lafreniere. It seems like they play him lower in the lineup. He is a left winger. So I think they're having a really tough time finding a spot for him. They have Chris Kreider playing on their top line left wing. Then you have Panarin. So Panarin and Kreider are their guaranteed top six left wingers. So where does Lafreniere go? Now the New York Rangers recently got and signed Kravtsov to play. He's also on their third line left wing. And then they have Sammy Blay playing on the fourth. I personally think Lafreniere is too good to play on the third and fourth line. And like he doesn't do well. He's not a checker. He's not. He's a goal scorer. He's a playmaker. He's supposed to drive play. He's supposed to be that elite player on those top six lines. Like, he's not supposed to be playing in your bottom six. I think that's why he struggles on the third line. He's just not made for that role. So they have nowhere to play him. A team that does is the Vancouver Canucks. We do have room to play Alexei Lafreniere in our lineup. It just makes it seem like the New York Rangers will try to ship him out. It really does depend. To me, the thing that comes down to is how close the Rangers feel they are to winning a Stanley Cup and if they want to really go for it. Obviously, Alexei Lafreniere is struggling, not really fitting into the lineup, so they could trade him and get somebody right now to help win. But Lafreniere, potentially, when Kreider's gone, if eventually Panarin goes, is a longer-term solution. He's somebody who could be on this team for his whole career if you keep him around. The problem is, if they don't see they can win now, they probably won't win in the future because all these good players they have in this team will be gone. So it really does put the Rangers in a really, really tough situation. If the Rangers are in a win now situation where they feel they can really compete and win themselves a Stanley Cup, then I think trading Lafreniere really is the most viable option, which really does suck for them. But they will, without a doubt, get a big return. So when talking about my team, the Vancouver Canucks, I truthfully don't even know if we have enough to be able to throw at the New York Rangers to, for them to want to give us Alexei Lafreniere. It really depends what the deals are out there and what they're comfortable taking back. All I can tell you is on our side, the number one piece that would be going to them is Bo Horvat, obviously. I think Bo Horvat would be a really good fit in New York. They have Zabinijad as their top line center. That's secured. Then they have Vincent Trocek on their second line. I personally think you could even move Vincent Trocek down the lineup and put Horvat in as your second line center. And that just creates so much more depth. Your winger stays the same. I don't know if Trocek can play on the wing, but if you can throw him on the right wing, play him on the second line instead of Barkley Goudreau, that just improves your top six so much. Also, people moving down creates more depth down below. Like I said, I don't know what else Vancouver could give the New York Rangers as far as like prospects. Maybe they could give them like Rathbone with Bo Horvat. I have no idea what the New York Rangers would want from us. I can't see Vancouver giving up this year's first. I personally can't even see them giving up next year's first, but maybe they do that to get this deal done because they feel like this makes them a better team. All I know is both players, Bo Horvat and Lafreniere, are both on expiring deals. Lafreniere is looking for his first contract in the NHL, not counting his entry level. So that's going to be an interesting contract. He's probably going to get a bridge deal, which Vancouver can't afford. Bo Horvat, after this, is looking for a longer term deal, probably more expensive around the eight to nine million dollar range and I don't know if the Rangers would be able to pay that so for them to give up Lafreniere for a rental I just don't see possible I'm ma mostly making this video just hypothetically speaking if the Canucks were to get him obviously I feel like it's very very unlikely the Rangers probably won't want to re-sign Horvat and if they can 
Uh, I still don't know if they would. Not to mention, I don't even think if we have any other prospects to give him. I do, however, think he would fit very well. Lafreniere would fit very well on the Vancouver Canucks lineup. He would play, I think, extremely well with somebody like a JT Miller. Just the way he would be able to feed the puck to JT Miller on the left wing would be absolutely elite, in my opinion. I think those two would pair very, very well together and would be absolutely nasty to have for the foreseeable future. Obviously, JT Miller signed long term for us, so having Lafreniere on his wing would be elite. At the end of the day, whether whatever happens with Lafreniere and the Rangers, it does seem like most people are leaning towards maybe him being traded. And there's only a few teams I could see out there that would even be able to afford him. I think his value is very, very interesting to me because it could be really high, like the first overall pick he is, or it could be low because he hasn't really shined since coming into the NHL. This is a third season now, and he still hasn't really looked like a top six forward. So it's going to be very, very interesting to see if he is traded, what he's traded for. But there you guys have it. I just wanted to give my opinion on if the Vancouver Canucks could trade for Alexi Lafreniere and kind of what it would look like. I'm thinking Bo Horvat, maybe Jack Rathbone in a first round pick, maybe a little bit more. I could be faded on that completely. Let me know down in the comments your guys' opinion. What do you guys think is going to happen with Alexi Lafreniere? Genuinely curious. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you're new, it means a lot if you subscribe. Like the video if you enjoyed. I'll talk to you in the next one. Peace.